To write the name for FeBr2, we first need to realize we have a metal and some nonmetals. So when we have metal and nonmetal, that's going to be considered an ionic compound. So we're going to name this as if it were an ionic compound. Because there's two different elements, it's called a binary ionic, and we use these rules here. We write the name of the metal first as it appears on the periodic table. Fe, that's iron, so we just write iron. Next, we write the name of the nonmetal as it appears on the periodic table. So Br is bromine, lowercase b. Then we replace the ending with IDE. Since iron is a transition metal, we really don't know the charge. We have to look at what it's bonded to. Here it's bonded to two bromine atoms. When we look at the periodic table, we can see bromine right here is in group 17, sometimes called 7A, the halogens. It'll have a 1 minus ionic charge. Since we have two of them, that's 2 minus. The iron has to be 2 plus to balance the charge to give us a net charge of 0. Since iron has a 2 plus charge, we need to write that as the Roman numeral 2 there between the iron and the bromide. So the name for FeBr2, that's iron 2 bromide. You might also hear this called ferrous bromide. That's an older name for FeBr2. But this is the official name, iron 2 bromide. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.